I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you my Lord for all my sins your cross you bore your mercy can my health restore my guilt before you is no more so I'll have no fear I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord you urge me Lord with you to dine to eat the bread and drink the wine and thus enjoy your life divine so I'll sit with you I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord discord with you Lord has no part I must be one in mind and heart with all my neighbors close and far so I'll bring them to I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord My dear brothers and sisters a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love Today we pray for all the senior members in our homes, the senior citizens who need God's help, those who are sick and suffering, those who live alone, those who have no one to take care of them, yet God is there with them. We ask our dear Lord to bless every senior member in our homes especially those who have no support, those who have financial difficulties, those who are suffering, those on the deathbed. Let us pray that the Lord may be at their side in their life's journey and comfort them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as a ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter twenty-six, verses eleven to sixteen and twenty-four. The priests and prophets addressed the officials and all the people. This man deserves to die, since he has prophesied against this city, and you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah, however, replied to the people as follows: The Lord Himself sent me to say all the things you have heard against this temple and this city. So now, amend your behavior and actions. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. If you do, He will relent and not bring down on you the disaster He has pronounced against you. For myself, I am as you see in your hands. Do whatever you please or think right with me. But be sure of this, that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood on yourselves, on this city, and on its citizens. Since the Lord has truly sent me to you, and say all these words in your hearing. The officials and all the people. Then said to the priests and prophets, "This man does not deserve to die. He has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. Jeremiah has a protector in Achiam, son of Shaphan, so he has not handed over to the people to be put to death." The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. In your great love, answer me, O God. In your great love, answer me, O God. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep, lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let me deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. Response: In your great love, answer me, O God. As for me, in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. Response: In your great love, answer me, O God. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn its his servants in their chains. Response: In your great love, answer me, O God. Gospel acclamation: Alleluia! Alleluia! Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves, and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter fourteen, verses one to twelve. Herod the tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus, and said to his court, "This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him." Now it was Herod who had arrested John. Chained him up and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, for John had told him, "It is against the law for you to have her." 
he had wanted to kill him but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet then during the celebrations for Herod's birthday the daughter of Herod is danced before the company and so delighted Herod that he promised on oath to give her anything she asked prompted by her mother she said give me john the baptist's head here on a dish the king was distressed but thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guests he ordered it to be given her and sent and had john be herded in the prison the head was brought in on a dish and given to the girl who took it to her mother john's disciples came and took the body and buried it then they went off to tell jesus the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters when we do wrong towards someone deliberately causing hurt and sinful acts spoiling someone's name bringing hurdles on their way and finally we think we have done it and we rejoice and are happy but time comes when you yourself will regret about all the wrong you have done to others all the sins that you have committed will get deepened in your conscience and it will begin to eat you up because because your heart knows what wrong you have done God does not cause any harm to anyone but you yourself who inflict wrong upon others you bring the self infliction on your own self and destroy your own self in the bargain becoming a victorious man We see how Herod the tetrarch was going through this type of feeling after having killed John the Baptist for giving a favor to Herod's daughter his head on a platter on a dish and feeling happy that he has done it not with his own accord to kill him but to grant a favor to someone but when time comes later when he comes to know about the miracles and wonders of Jesus he begins to feel all the wrong that he had done and about the killing and beheading of John the Baptist he feels that John the Baptist has come back to life because he lived with his own brother's wife against the law this was eating him up therefore he could see all the wonders and good deeds being attributed to john the baptist and he scared and worried similarly we see how jeremiah experiences trial and trauma caused by the authorities of the temple trying to kill him trying to destroy him because he is giving the message to people about curses about wrong being done by them and wrong to come upon them and when jeremiah tells the people around If you wish to kill me you may go ahead 
But when the blood of the innocent cries out to God, all the punishments will come on you and the city, your families and the whole vicinity will be destroyed. At that moment, people stand by Jeremiah to restore the city, to restore their lives and to belong to God once again. And they say, no, we cannot kill this innocent servant of God for he is a messenger, a prophet. So my dear brothers and sisters, in our lives we too try to kill the truth. We too try to kill justice. But it will not last long what we buy with money, with wealth. The truth that prevails, it will help you, it will guide you, it will protect you. But the falsehood will defeat you finally, will destroy you and will kill you. Therefore, we should know that Jesus is the truth. He is the way, the light, the life. And we should possess him in our lives and nothing, nothing, nothing else in this world. Everything else is temporary. Let us ask our dear Lord to bless us, to strengthen us and to give us courage to be truthful. Just as John the Baptist stood for truth and by truth. Amen. Take all we have, make them thine, O oh Lord. Take all we have, make them thine. We offer you, O oh Lord divine, a humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O oh Lord, we pray. Oh, take our hearts. Take our mind Take all we have Make them thine, O oh Lord Take all we have Make them thine Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is us, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we obey the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Today, as we have presented at this altar, during this Mass, all our senior members in our homes especially the sick and the suffering, those who live alone and those in loneliness, those who are bedridden. Dear Mother, we ask you to accompany them in their life journey. Be with them, comfort them, accompany them in whatever situation they may be, especially those who need healing, those who need your company, since they are in loneliness, those who are bedridden, and all those who need comfort. Bless each one of them with your blessings in abundance, interceding through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, live Jesus. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God pour cleansing streams over us, washing our souls from every stain. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God as Spirit breathe into us. Open our graves and bring us to life. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure.
Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May He remove our stony hearts. Give us a heart of flesh in its stead. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure.